People talk about it all the time. That's a good firewood saw. Oh, that's nothing more than a firewood saw. And I'm looking for a good firewood saw, guys. What is a firewood saw? It's completely subjective. What you think is a good firewood saw, what I think is a good firewood saw, probably gonna be two different things. But here's my definition of a good firewood saw. Number one, it's gotta be cheap, all right? Now, granted, some of you guys out there have an actual wood processing uh, business. If you do, you're probably not looking for my advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, it's gotta be cheap. It's gotta be cheap. Um, firewood saws are not meant to be professional chainsaws, although some people use actual professional saws because people are actually professional firewood suppliers. But my opinion of what is a really good firewood saw is something probably 60 cc's you know, but 50 to 60 cc's. I definitely don't want to drop below 50 cc's. I don't have any real use. I mean, I, I tinker around with some saws that are slightly smaller than 50 cc's, uh, but that's just for tinkering really. Um, and a little light work for branches and things. But whenever you think about firewood, you're not typically cutting up branches, little tiny branches for firewood. I mean, you might do it, but uh, but your firewood is going to be your larger rounds that you're splitting with an axe. That's firewood. Um, and so therefore you need something that's really capable of pulling an 18 inch bar or larger. And um, then again, you look at firewood. What is firewood? Firewood are, is typically hardwoods. I know a lot of you guys in the Pacific Northwest got your duck fur and stuff. And, and I've heard that that's pretty hard stuff. But it's, you know, it, 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 it ain't a hard maple. It ain't a, a hard oak or anything like that. It, it, it's still, it's still dug fur. It's, uh, it is what it is. And, um, you know, you might be able to get away with a 20 or 22 inch bar on a 50 cc saw. It's no problem. And that's fine if you can do that. Uh, but me, for my situation, nothing smaller than 50 cc saw and I'd probably prefer it to be closer to 60 cc's. Uh, I wanna be able to pull a 20 inch bar really well, and um, in a pinch, be able to pull a 24 inch bar. So, criteria. Number one, it's gotta be cheap. Uh, right now, I, well, I won't give that up. So like this is my Husqvarna 61. It is a fantastic firewood saw. It's a 61 cc. It, uh, I got it for free, literally. Now I know not everybody comes along with those deals and stuff, but if you keep your eye out, you can pick this up for $150, $200. Uh, and you know, you, you can, you can find it for that. Um, but, and that's, that, that's cheap, that's good. Uh, number two, and right there next to it, you saw the Weimars, yep. I would not consider this a good firewood saw. Not if you guys are serious about your firewood. Not yet anyways. Uh, I've only ran five tanks through it and I've had no problems with it whatsoever, but it's a little bit underpowered. Uh, I definitely can't pull a 20 inch bar with that thing. Um, not, not in the condition it's in right now. Uh, but the, the, the other thing is it's reliability is questionable. Like I said, I haven't uh, had a problem with it so far. But one thing I do know that's true, if something goes wrong with it, like say an oil pump, all right? Um, I can't just run down to my local shop and get an oil pump for the thing. I've got to look for it and check it out. So then here in the United States of America, what you're probably looking at is really only three name brands, uh, possibly four. Uh, you've got your steel, of course, Husqvarna, of course, and you've got um, Echo. Um, and Echo is also Shindawa. Oh, and there's Red Max, but Red Max is also Husqvarna. John's Red's long gone. So, um, but I mean, if you're buying an older John's Red, like a, like 
one of the ones that were just specific they they took a husky and they painted it red basically um like a like i've got a 5300 or no i'm sorry a 2153 uh I had a 2255. Those are just huskies. That's all that is. So if you're looking for a something around the year 2000 and and newer, then you'll be fine with a Johnson Red or a Red Max because they're they're just husk varnish. And um, so again with the criteria: <laughs> cheap, reliable, easy to find parts for, and powerful um for whatever wood that you tend to be working with use that as your gauge if you tend to be working on stuff that's about the size you split it twice and you got four pieces of firewood from it then a 50 cc saw will handle that all day long a good one you know and i consider the um definitely the the steel 271 farm boss good 50 cc saw uh the husqvarna um, 450 good 50 cc saw if you tend to be getting a little bit bigger than that you know where maybe you're having to split that log um, six different into six different pieces or eight different pieces then you're going to need a bigger saw you know because the wood that you're cutting is probably going to be 18 inches in diameter and bigger and so then you're going to jump up to your 55 60 cc saws and um, so then you're looking at the Husky 460 Rancher, uh, the Steel 291, I think. Uh, Steel's really weird with their numbers. Really weird. I've never learned to figure it out. Um, but there's all kinds of stuff out there for you. And if you want to tinker around, there's plenty of old saws that, that make great firewood saws. Um, but you've got to know what you're doing with that stuff. And I encourage everybody to try, learn, figure that out. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great thing, right? Um, you got to start somewhere. But I will say that, you know, it'd probably be better if you already had a newer saw that was a known com commodity that ran great because you have to have that firewood saw running excellent. You don't want to get in the woods and go, dang it. You know, it's not starting on me. Or, you know, you want that thing to fire up every time that you pick it up. You want it to stay running whenever you sit it down. Uh, and you just want it to be flawless. That's a good firewood saw. Cheap, reliable, easy to find parts for, um, powerful enough to pull the bar that you need for the type of firewood that you are running, uh, using. Um, and uh, what was the last one there? Oh, it needs to run excellent, perfect. It needs to run perfect. So, that's a good firewood saw in my book. Wherever you find that and whatever brand you find that in, is that's up to you. Now, um, right now, I am really enjoying the hell out of my Poland Pro 330. Uh, it makes, that's a perfect example of a fantastic firewood saw if you've got one that runs excellent which i do and um if it didn't typically i i stick with it long enough i can make it run excellent so <laughs> there's that but what do i think is the best firewood saw on the market right now hands down no doubt about it it's the echo 590. no doubt about it why because you can find those motherfuckers laying in the ditch on the way to the store to buy one they're everywhere. People buy them from Home Depot and then they do their job and then they don't need it anymore. And so then they sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Done. All right. You've got a good used saw. I mean, it's fantastic. They're really good saws, right? And, um, and a lot of people would consider that a professional saw. And in many ways it is. Uh, I don't think that it's kind of, I don't think it's fast enough or strong enough to be considered a professional. You get up to the 620 and you're, you're stepping up quite nice there but that's not the point the point is a good firewood saw it's something that's going to run all the time it's going to be strong uh it's going to get the job done and it's going to be cheap and easy to find easy to find parts for uh you probably have a dealer located close to you 
Home Depot is not a dealer. I mean, they sell them, but they're a retail store. A dealer is going to actually have the machines and actually cover the warranty and work on them and stuff. And that's what you'd need for parts availability uh, quickly. So what else can I tell you? Oh, the other thing is, is a lot of people buy them from Home Depot, use them, and then return them and go, ah, oh, I didn't like it because they want their money back. All they needed was a job to handle one task and they returned it. And then resellers pick those up and sell them. I mean, you can find these things in brand new condition for $250. Absolutely, all day long. I've seen them as cheap as $180 in good running condition, but they've been, they're kind of beat up a little bit. But uh, shoot, uh, I saw Indiana Doug, he got one for like 50 bucks. Just a little bit of cleanup and stuff, and they're, they're a great saw. So, if you want my opinion on what is the best firewood saw on the market right now, out there today, that you can get, based on my criteria, cheap, uh, uh, reliable, easy to get parts for, powerful enough to pull the bar that you need, and just runs perfect. Go get yourself an Echo 590. So, right now, I mean, I ha I've used them, and they're good saws. But I like my other stuff, and I don't mind tinkering and working on things, and getting things a little bit older, and get them really cheap and stuff. So, that's where I'm at. But maybe someday, maybe someday soon, I'll actually pick up an Echo 590. They're easy. They're everywhere. They're all over the place. Anyways wind's whipping today. Alright, I gotta get back at this firewood.